It's the number one biggest lie in B2B sales. Buyers buy based on value. No, they don't. And once you hear the truth about what they are buying based on, it's going to change everything for you in a super cool way. You see, before a customer can solve a problem by buying the value that you offer, they need to balance buying against the risk involved in changing. So let's dive in with a few examples in software, IT, and professional services. Business to business buyers buy risk avoidance and the process to get the value. They buy a way to basically cover their asses and a better way to kind of get at the value, not the actual value itself, not the outcome. Now, I know it sounds super weird, but buyers of business to business products and services do not buy based on value. And the more that you continue to think that they do, the more that you're going to struggle with opening conversations and closing deals. Here's an example. Let's say that you sell accounting software. Now, this software makes closing out the books every month faster. However, when a customer decides to invest in the software, they actually don't value automating manual reconciliation. Remember, buying decisions are about CYA, covering your ass. So what customers actually want is the confidence that they're not gonna get audited. That is a huge mess for them. They want a guarantee that they will be in compliance with local tax laws to reduce that chance. Here's why this is important to you. When communicating, avoid focusing on features and benefits and instead focus on risk reduction and the processes involved once they make the investment. So for example, the client is likely to be thinking thoughts like, you know, is the process of learning the software simple and is it supported? And what happens if there's a mistake or we need to troubleshoot? So remember, the value is in reducing risk and a pain-free process. It is not the outcome that automation provides. Customers aren't just buying a bookkeeping tool, they are buying a pathway to a stress-free, low-risk finance function. Pretend that you're selling IT services to a manufacturing company. Focus on risk reduction. When interacting with potential clients, focus on what happens when there is downtime. What is the risk? How is it managed? And what is the process to avoid production delays? The customer is probably going to be concerned with data breaches and more risk reduction. Remember, clients don't just want someone who can fix things. They want a clear tested process that ensures that technology runs smoothly and they won't suffer a major outage or a cyber attack. Value is all about risk and covering their asses. That is what they're buying. And this is the number one reason why IBM, Oracle, and all these super big players win so many deals. They focus big time on risk focused selling, not value. So when making your pitch, focus mainly on how your process reduces risk. My friend, this is why buyers don't care to hear your value proposition or your elevator pitch unless you frame that around risk. Remember, before a customer can solve a problem by buying the value that you offer, they need to balance buying against the actual risk involved in making change. You see, buying is isn't just identifying the best solution to a problem or gaining the value provided. It is more about reducing risk, covering their assets. Now, I want you to give this some thought. What are you doing or what can you do to help customers examine their current situation and evaluate the risk of making some change? Specifically, is there a way that you can help your clients self-assess their situation with regard to risk? Consider leaving a comment below and let's chat about it. All right, my name is Jeff Molander and I study how the most successful sellers avoid persuading and selling value. Now, if you're open to changing the way that you think about persuasion and sales outreach, hit subscribe and consider leaving a comment below. All the best and see you next time.